Okay, folks, today is Friday the 27th of March. Um, strange times we're in at the moment with what's happening with the virus. But farming has to go on. The food still has to be produced. I'm standing here in a crop of Graham winter wheat. Um, strangely enough, I'm going to start from the principle of talking about water or lack of it, which might seem very strange after the winter we're after having and the level of rainfall. Particularly, there's even a little gully there cut through the soil with the rain that ran down the hill. But this little plant, as we know, is going to produce her final yield. And it's all dictated around what's going to happen underground with the roots. And that's why I'm saying water or lack of it. On the farm here so far this year, we've had 32% of our annual rainfall. I just did a quick check on the trend this morning, um, looking back over the years. Normally we'd only have 20% of the rain. The last time we had close to this level of rainfall in the first three months of the year was 2018, where we got 28% by the end of the month. So draw your own conclusions there, what's going to happen for the rest of the year. My fear is the ground will dry out quite a lot. And if we get the wrong three to four week spell of dryness, I don't want to say drought, and um, we could be in trouble. Because these little guys under the ground have been quite restricted by the level of rainfall and the coldness that's been in the soil. You'll always hear me talk about nutrition. We're pushing more down the biological route. If we adopt our mindset as opposed to building an input program that's based on treating problems, and what we should be looking at is treating the plant and treating the soil. Now the soil is what it is today, not a lot we can do about for the growing, growing season, but we can still manipulate these roots under the ground. And what, we, what we're recommending a lot of guys to do is apply a biological that it's literally only hitting the ground today, a new biological on the market that's a mix of phosphite, which a lot of people are familiar with, but also podolic acid. And podolic acid you will have heard of as a component of uplift, which does very well for us. If we apply that product, um, insight it's called, to crops like this now, and the worse the roots are, the more important it is to do it, getting it on as far and as va in advance of growth stage 30 as possible. The data has shown that if you apply it to um, crops, laboratory studies were done where it's nice and easy to wash the roots, you can get 63% more roots by using the product. If you follow it with the uplift in a program, they've got up to 93% more roots. And that root growth followed into I think it was about 32% more shoot growth from the increase in roots from the insight. And again, in the program where you followed with uplift, it actually got as high as 50% more shoot growth. So as much as we can today, we have to structure our programs to manage these guys, because that's where the yield is going to come from. Um, so insight at the moment is a good approach for biologicals, phosphite and bedolic acid. Follow with the uplift you've heard us talking about for years. I'm not going to get too bogged down in the program about fungicides and regulation that follows. But the healthier we make this plant by allowing these roots to perform as good as they possibly can, the better that plant is set up to give its maximum potential, potential output, but also to deal with the problems that are thrown at it. Uh, we've had a couple of calls this year purely because of what happened last year. Is there any mildew knocking around? We haven't seen it to any great extent so far, particularly not in this variety anyway. If you did see mildew, there might be an argument for a little bit of early Midas, but it's a very, very low problem this year. Um, as regards a bit more day-to-day -day management here, this has got nothing. It'll get its nitrogen early next week. This field doesn't get P or K because it's following the beet that had a lot of organic fertilizer. I will give it its foliar treatment of the inside first. I'm not going to mix the herbicide with it. I want the plant to strengthen up a little bit, but the herbicide in here is going to be Broadway Star. Um, I like it because it's quite kind on the crop. It'll do the grass weeds for me. I uh, don't have a brome issue, but it's very good on brome. You might, if you have a more advanced crop than me and you're using Broadway Star, want to consider adding in something like Cameo Max just to top it up for the simple reason, as the weeds get bigger, some of them could get through the Broadway Star. I have seen large fumetry get through before, that's why I picked the Cameo Max. Broadway Star, I'll use it here with an adjuvant Solar Plus, um, which is the water conditioning activity. We're recommending a lot more guys use an adjuvant like Solar Plus with their SU herbicides and a lot of other products because spraying conditions are getting more tricky. But that's as much as I'm worried about at the moment. It's to try and let the plant come on, treat it with a bit of insight to get these guys to develop. This is what it's all about. The roots are what dictates it. And why did I say water? If the land dries out and we don't have enough roots, the roots can't find the nutrients. And how do they find the nutrients? The nutrients move in water in the soil. So if, if water gets reduced and we also have restricted root growth, that's really bad for yield. Uh, beyond that, on wheat, as I said, 
ad adopt your nutrient program at, at this stage uh, or set up your nutrient program I should say think about little and often on your trace elements you've heard me talk before about the likes of cereal alley and things like that another range of products we're looking at this year and they're coming from Alltech and again it's in the biological camp a product called Liquiplex ZN MNB now what that basically is is I'll use a non-technical term it's a soup of amino acids every plant on the planet needs 20 amino acids there's a guaranteed minimum of 18 of those in any of the liquiplex range there's also the zinc the manganese the boron boron early is important for cereals a lot of people don't do it but it is important and by applying the amino acids again it reduces stress so i'll pro probably put that liquiplex zn mnb on with the broadway star i'm going to say in about seven days time i'll get the insight on this weekend um, so that's it for wheat for the moment take care of your weeds I'll be using Broadway Star and Cameo here if you had your grass weeds taken care of with the likes of I'll just say Firebird in the autumn or whatever your choice was they actually worked quite well Ally Ultra would be a very good choice now it's Ally plus Cameo plus Boxer it's a very good choice for clean up for a few residual weeds that might be around the main one this year is probably Groundsel. a few guys after beans have beans to clean up Ally Ultra is good on that um, beyond that a few cleavers again the boxer component in the ally ultra will help there's a range of products to choose from um there is no specific right or wrong one you look at the situation at hand if you have absolutely nothing done at all um, and you have horrendous levels of grass weeds you might have to reach for a stronger product the likes of alistair or pacifica my own preference is the broadway star i found it's generally enough to contend with the level of weeds i'll have after beating.